Good day, tourists! I am Bernadette M. Corona, your virtual tour guide for today to the second largest province in the Philippines, the province of Isabela. But before we start our tour, let me tell you some friendly reminders so that this trip will be happy and enjoyable. First, always wear your face mask, face shield, and practice social distancing. Walk with pairs so no one will get lost. Second, synchronize your time to my time so no one will get left behind. Time check? It's already 8.30 in the morning. Third, understand. Please do understand as you hear me whistling twice like this. And as I raise our flag, it means that our time is up. We will go back to our bus to our next destination. Lastly, observe. Please observe and embrace what the nature has offered for us by not doing anything that is harmful. Always remember, no trace will left behind. If you have any questions and needs, just approach me and I'll get you covered. I'm so excited and I bet you are all excited. So, without further ado, let's get started! Let's go to Isabella! It's going down. We are now heading to the melting pot of the North, Queen Province of the Philippines, and the Center of Agriculture. Welcome to Isabella! This province is also called the Corn and Mungo Capital of the Philippines because Isabella is the major producer of corn and mungo here in the Philippines. Agriculture is the biggest industry in Isabella as the country's top corn producing province. It contributes 21% of the annual national yellow corn production, Asia's largest post-harvest corn processing facility. In addition, here in Isabella, they celebrated Bambanti Festival during the month of January, which means Scarecrow. Here we are on our first destination. You know what, tourists? Isabella has four coastal areas, and we are here on one of them, where we can find the Blue Lagoon Lake. Blue Lagoon is one of the most famous tourist attractions here in Isabella. It is located in Barangay Villa Robles in Palanan, and it is a favorite place to visit among locals and tourists alike. Did you know that Blue Lagoon is also called the Gem of Palanan because of its magical color? We are now here on our second destination. One of the oldest church here in Isabella, San Pablo Church. This church was built in 1624 in the oldest town of Isabella, which is San Pablo. It is the tallest church here in Cagayan Valley. It is a favorite place to visit among locals and tourists to see how the past before. We are now down here on our last destination. But we are here in a first Southeast Asia's first largest multi-purpose dam and it is said to be the biggest dam here in Asia, the Magat Dam. This Magat Dam is located in Ramon Isabela. This multi-purpose dam is started in 1975 and completely in 1985. And this dam has a lot of potential to do some recreational activities like boating, fishing, cycling, jogging, and picnic. 
for a tourist. I hope you learned and enjoy about our trip today. Again, this is me, Bernadette Corona, and thank you for choosing me to become a part of your unforgettable journey here in Isabella. And I hope I have given you a 7,100 reasons to smile and enjoy. Agyamanap!